are on the spur. We have Ranger Help. This one here needs winched out. That one back there needs towed. You just pull off here to the side and get stuck? Yeah, that's all. Steer slightly back to the right, and if you're in drive, see if it'll pull forward. Perfect. If you can get around him, you're free to go as soon as we get traffic cleared up here.
Okay, all right, he will, he's, we're gonna get him out of the way and then we'll come back and grab you. Do you know where you need to go? What, what is this, a Dodge? Chrysler, yeah, there's a dealership. It's all the way out at the 407 exit though. Are you staying at a hotel or something here in Pigeon Forge? Where are you staying? We're staying in Hilton Garden Inn. Okay, we can, we'll get you up there and then we'll figure out where we're going from there. All right, I'm gonna run back here and talk to this officer real quick. You. You're welcome. Thank you. I just wanted to let you know that he got the van winched out. We're gonna grab her and get out of the way. Thank you so much. So we came off the spur. We got these fine ladies fixed up. Thank you. You're very Thank welcome. You. Thank you. You're very welcome. So it ended up being just her battery terminals on this one. So we got her scraped up, got it started. She don't have to go to the dealer. We're very happy. We got your folks winched out, right? They were, she was following some guys there. So we got them winched out and got them up. So we're super happy that she does not need to go to the dealership. We got her scraped up and just uh, clean those battery terminals for her. We're gonna get her on her way. Thank, Thank you, dear. You. You're very welcome. Okay, guys, um, thought I'd give a little more backstory to that uh, tow slash recovery. So the, the Chrysler minivan um, that the two gals that we just dropped off own, um, it had died. She said that the dash lights were flashing. She lost everything, no brakes no power no nothing and so she coasted off to the side of the road in the van the black van that we winched out in front of them they were all together so they've got a big group of, of people um they've got what'd she say 20 127 100, kids 127 kids here in the smoky mountains doing some fun things trying to have a good time um so her van quit so they stopped to try and help her when they pulled off the side of the road that that big transit van was heavy and we've had some rains here um, so that thing just sunk it sunk to the axles um, and uh, so we got there tried to get everything in a timely manner um, I think it took us about 15 minutes to do both so we we did the winch out got the black van recovered got it back up onto the roadway um, and then we started with the white van uh, can't really do anything uh, right there alongside the road so the spur is dangerous if you guys have been in town you know what the spur is all about um, so we just wanted to get into a safe spot so we was able to get them loaded up and get them back to the hotel originally the van was supposed to go to the dealership um, wasn't sure what was going on so I, I told him I said let's let's take a look at it before we before we continue to the dealership and luckily um, it was just the battery terminals. Um, so a lot of folks think that though. We get a lot of those phone calls where they say, oh, my dash lights are flashing, everything's going berserk. And you know, they think it's this huge, uh, huge issue, a huge electrical problem of electrical issues. But it's, it's truly most of the time, I wanna say 90% of the time, 95% of the time, it's just low voltage guys. So um, usually the alternator gives loose um, and then, uh, then drains the battery and then of course the dash lights go crazy um, this case it wasn't either or she ended up being really lucky it was just some dirty battery uh, terminals there so we were able to pull those apart get them scraped up uh, get the battery clean and started so those two gals were over the moon excited that uh, hey they can continue to have fun with the rest of their people and they don't have this huge expense from getting their van repaired to the dealership um, so that's one less thing they have to worry about and more fun that they can have so we're happy to help those those stories are always exciting uh, when they end well like that we don't like to see folks broke down and having to spend all this money for repairs just so they can go home and sometimes people have to rent cars go home and come back and get their vehicle after it's repaired because we've got some extended um, 
uh, times here, wait times for repairs and things like that. So ended very well. Thought I'd give you guys a little backstory. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, smash that subscribe button, like button, comment down below. And we appreciate you guys watching. See you on the next one. Okay guys, uh, back in Gatlinburg, going from heroes to villains. <laughs> uh, illegal park, back over here. Not sure what spot it is. Looks like a Toyota pickup truck security sent us. I think it was 30. I need a lot of attention right now. Strapped up and get out of here as quick as I can. Hmm. When he sent us this picture, it had a hotel hang tag on it. it no longer has that hotel hang tag. So that's interesting. Spot number 30. So the picture he sent had a hotel hang tag, and this does not have a hotel hang tag now. Why not? Mm -hmm. Like maybe they thought, hmm, well we're not supposed to be there, so let's just take that hang tag. Yeah, why would they take the hang tag? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. It's a uh, Tennessee tag. Yeah, it looked like a local tag. Don't know. Strange. Maybe it's a YouTube fan wanting to meet up. Maybe. I'd recommend staying with your vehicle if that's something that you're wanting to do. <laughs> it's a belly somewhere. Oh boy. Okay guys, leaving Gatlinburg with the old Toyota. So a little bit of issues there. We had to get it out of that parking spot, get it flip-flopped around, put it on dollies. Sometimes it's tough to get them. We gotta get them to a little better spot so we can get turned around and that sort of thing. But three-day weekend. Um, so anytime we get a three-day weekend, we're generally pretty crazy in Gatlinburg. So folks are just coming in. This is Friday night. We've already had a busy evening coming close coming close to the 11 11 o'clock 11 p.m. hour here but we're leaving out of Gatlinburg here and I don't know what the story was with this one when security sent us the uh, the initial removal the photo displayed a hotel hang tag as usual the hotel people park there but then when we come to Move the vehicle the hang tag is gone so I mean like why do they just why they come remove the hang tag within I mean we're talking within 30 minutes I, I don't even think it was that long let me look so yeah they called us so it had to have been less than 30 minutes that they parked there surely seen no you know they didn't see the sign they didn't see the sign of course not but anyway came back out to the vehicle and removed the hotel hang tag Okay, so the photo came at 10.11. I took the photo of the license plate at 10.28. So, less than 20 minutes, 17 minutes. Came and got the, so I'm not sure. That might be an interesting story. I'm not sure we'll get that story, but we'll, we'll try to dig it out of the uh, vehicle owner. But anyway, guys, nice and dark over here on the spur. I'm sure there's not much going on on the camera in here. So we will get back with you when uh, when they come to get this thing. So guys, I've been thinking. So hear me out. You, you've heard of business in the front, party in the back. So so what if what if the beard and then a mullet so it would be business, it'd be party all the way around with no business. 
keep that in mind. We're here, we're back from Gatlinburg. Hey, Gatlinburg's a cool place, guys. So, visiting, there's, there's plenty of places to park, but you just have to find a pay to park. There's plenty of, uh, there's plenty of free places, but you just have to find those too. But, uh, Gatlinburg's cool. Some people just choose to not pay to park. And it's not super busy over there, so there should be plenty of parking. Yeah, there's plenty. There is. So keep that in mind as you're visiting the Gatlinburg area. Everybody does an excellent job maintaining all of that stuff over there. Really cool, lots of cool shops. It's always pretty. Hats off to the PD. The PD does an amazing job over there getting traffic uh, under control and um, navigating around, keeping folks, uh, all the folks safe over there. So thank you, Gatlinburg PD. But we're going to get this thing unloaded. Gatlinburg? Yes, sir. Yes, I have a guest here. I want to talk to you just for one second for me, please. Sure. Okay, um, I believe that my um, husband's vehicle has been towed. Mm -hmm. um, it is a gray Toyota Tacoma with Tennessee license tags. Yes, ma'am. It was parked uh, uh, parked over on the numbered spots. Yes. Yes, I apologize. I've never stayed here before. I I just thought the icon was just you know from the hotel. Gotcha. Yeah. No, I understand. Yeah. What, um, okay. I don't have transportation to get the vehicle. Um, it's just me. Okay. Um, you'd have to get a cab, Uber, or Lyft, something like that, to our location. I guess so, yes. Okay. Um, and I can send you the address, or you can, um, if you got a pen and paper, I yes, can give that to you. Tell me the address. Okay. Okay. And that's over here. In Gallenberg? No, ma'am, it's over here in Sevierville. <sighs> um, you have to be the registered owner. Your ID has to match the registration of the vehicle for the release. Okay, I'm not. I am not the registered owner. It is my husband's truck, but I, I'm authorized to drive it. Okay. Um, it, it, it's your husband's, though. You're right. Correct. So yeah, the yes. last, the last name and everything is the same on the. Yes. Okay. It is. Okay. Um, yeah, and the, the cost. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh, thank you. Uh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> There's no way. Uh, no way in the world. The only thing we we touch is is the tires. So our auto loader comes up and it grabs the okay. grabs the tires, and uh, so that's the only right, way. This is his baby. So like, yeah, when no, he I, has our daughter, he takes my car and then I take his take car. Take the take yeah. the thing. Yeah. No, there's no way in the world. There's, okay. yeah, it it picks it straight up. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Busy. It's a busy Saturday, downtown Gatlinburg. Hundreds of thousands of people touching each other. I think they're all right here on this corner. <laughs> <laughs> 
We got called over for, you can guess it, illegal park. Somebody's parked in an employee parking lot, thinking that that's okay. About to save $20. I'm not sure I can even get over there to them. Um, so guys, if you remember one of the other videos where the Jeep, um, we had some Jeep uh, issues where we were trying to get uh, out of this tight squeeze and we put it in a parking lot instead of taking it back to our lot. And we're going to that same place. Yeah, see this lady walking across the water. Yeah, against the light. And nobody gets to go. Going in here? Yes. I think they're gonna let us through. Thank you. Oh, you'll definitely have to move the Honda. I don't know why you would want to park up here. Do we know who the Honda belongs to? The video it belongs to. Is, there a... Is that any of y'all's? The... This one? The Honda? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you need it moved? Would you? Because it looks like North Carolina thought it would be okay to park back here. Yeah. They saved $20. And we try to tell them all the time, but, you know. <laughs> I mean, now it's going to cost them a lot more than $20. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a little different than $20. Our spots are a little more expensive. <laughs> I think you're coming back. I was like, I'm going to go check. They finally decided to start parking. Yeah. I mean, it's bad for you guys because sometimes you get off of work and you got to stand here for four hours because you're going to walk in the end. I mean, they're right in front of the sign, too. Do you I see the sign? It's a parking spot. Like, come on. The sign is right there. Yeah. That's where I'm going. We're going to play musical cars. I can't see my front, is what I have to Okay, I'll go watch.
500 point turn around. Turned. Yeah, they're all kind of. I might have to. Probably have to dolly the front to get the corner to make that corner. Probably. Be a little kinder on his pickup truck. He probably will if you need him to. Um, I mean, uh, if he would just back all the way up here just for a second. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Jeff, where do you need him yeah, to go? He's great. I'm sorry. If you get back up. And just hang out long enough for him to get out. And you can put it wherever you want. Thank you. Right in front of my sign. That's it. Right in front of your sign, I know. He's amazing. He impresses me daily. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. That was a tight fit, you two. He said, you got a hell of a driver. <laughs> and his eyeballs were huge. So thank you. You do. You impress me daily when you're driving here. <laughs> I'll take this. That's cleared up any. I don't know that you're gonna get to turn left. Oh, there's people crossing. People in front of you. Is there a stoplight here? There is. I mean, look at all these people. Someone's bound to see their car. Oh, I probably better call the police, hadn't I? Look at all those people. So many people. You want to hang it out of the window? They are lined up front to back. All the way, as far as you can see. Okay guys, uh, we're gonna get on out of Gatlinburg, hopefully. It's gonna be a long wait in traffic. We'll turn you back on here if uh, the owner starts chasing us. How's that? <laughs> Stay tuned. Everything auto. How far? What is here? This is Green Auto. Hello, yes. Yeah, man, uh, this is like uh, you told my car. What kind of car you got? It's a black Equus. Yes, sir. Uh, you, were, uh, you, were, you were really parked where you weren't supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. 
that registration of the vehicle we can release it to you uh it's so how can i get to you i don't have a way to get over there to you um probably catch an uber lyft or a cab okay um man, how did y'all lift that car off of the wheels of the turn uh what auto what do y'all do this? auto loader huh? auto loader and dollies Ain't scratched up or nothing like that, is it? No, sir. We're not in the business to scratch vehicles. Okay, because uh, I know ain't no scratches on it. Uh, you know, I take care of that car. It stays in the garage all the time. Absolutely. But, uh, I need your address so I can uh, get to you. Can you text me that address? Yeah, yeah. I'll text, text it to him? Yeah, I'll text it to this number you're calling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll send it on over. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So, How are you, sir? Right. Now, how do y'all get them cars out of there? Y'all have to drag them out of there? No, sir. Yeah, the, the auto loader and the dollies. It picks them straight up. The auto loader comes up. The only thing we have to touch are your tires. So it just picks it. It just picks it straight up from there. Okay. Um. Yeah, back there. If you're in Gatlinburg and you're not paying to park, you're doing something wrong. Okay. But, uh, you're oh. always safe bet safe bet that's that way your car's safe and everything so i'm sorry hey, you guys are screwed up parking right there i thought we were gonna save us a little money and, uh... <laughs> there you guys know it's uh yeah it's crazy over there it really is if you if you get into that area it's so packed thank you guys you be safe now okay thank you bro thank you gouge in that sidewall there. I pointed that out. This one was here all night? Oh, um, I don't know. Okay. It rolled. Paid to park. <laughs> it rolled. Would you please check it for me? <laughs> it's, if it rolls, let's go. the signal. International sign of distress. <laughs> hey, are you in distress? <laughs> I was going to ask if you're going to honor it. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Gatlinburg in one of the numbered spots? Yes. Yes. Okay. 
yes ma'am um we do as long as you're the registered owner id matches the registration of the vehicle we can release that to you uh the fee is yes ma'am okay and how do i get to you what is your address in severeville in severeville okay yeah and it's okay since we're sunday we're uh we usually don't do pickups it's usually uh Monday through Friday, but if you let me know when you're trying to come, I, like we're we're a couple hours from the lot, so it's going to be at least a couple hours before we can meet someone back at the lot. Okay, um, I need to get it as soon as possible because we leave in the morning. Um, so, can someone like head that way? You'll be there in what two hours if you go there now? Yeah, it's going to be about two hours before we can have somebody at the gate. Okay. They do um, Uber around here, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, Uber, Lyft, cabs. There's quite a few of those in the area. Um, okay. And you can okay. text. You can text this number if uh, if you need to. I'll I'll shoot you a text when we're about 30 minutes from the shop. How's that? Okay. And that's how. Is that about how long it'll take for me to get there? It'll take you about 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. 20, 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just text me and I'll find a way over there. Okay. Already. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hello, here is that receipt. Yay. I uh, know. That was not nice. <laughs> no, the security, the lot security calls us over there and uh, the hotel's kind of crazy. Man. Did you have it out with the hotel? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> kind of. I was just told them, I'm like, there was no parking, there was nowhere to park, so I didn't know. And yeah. I didn't see any sign that said you couldn't park there. Yeah, so. and you know, uh, Saturday night was kind of a bad deal for them. They had buses everywhere. They had a yes, bus parked in the a, front. Yeah, they could have like let us. They had like a whole employee parking lot. That's the way they could have let us park there right. at least, but but no, we're gonna get our car towed. I know. I the know security you're just doing your job. Yeah, they call us and they're they're like, hey, they're not supposed to be over here. Yeah. That you know, I should have thought to move it this morning, but I didn't even think about it. I saw the car there, it was fine, and we just went about our business, and yeah. And then I came back and I was like, oh my God, I'm like, where's my car? It's, yeah, yeah, there was there were several last night that they were calling, but yeah. it was just Saturday nights are, Saturday nights are bad. I uh, guess so. I hate that for you guys, I do. <laughs> be careful and try to have a better time. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there you go, thank you.